What in thunder's name is this? Before I devise an excellent and endless series of punishments for each and every one of you, could someone explain very simply and immediately exactly what is going on? Headmaster, I have to report the school is under attack. Really? Is that so? Perhaps you and I should have a word in private. No, I, I promise you, sir. I was in the village with Matron. It's Baines, sir. Jeremy Baines and Mr. Clark from Oakham Farm. They've gone mad, sir. They've got guns. They've already murdered people in the village. I saw it happen. Matron, is that so? I'm afraid it's true, sir. Murder? On our own soil? I saw it. Yes. Perhaps you did well, then, Mr. Smith. What makes you think the danger's coming here? What's that? They, they said, um... Baines threatened Mr. Smith, sir. Um, said he'd follow him. We don't know why. Very well. You boys, remain on guard. Mr. Snell, telephone for the police. Mr. Phillips, with me. We shall investigate. No, but it's not safe out there. Mr. Smith, it seems your favourite servant is giving me advice. You will control her, sir. I've got to find that watch. Hold me. Keep me safe. Keep me dark. Keep me closed. The time is not right. Not yet. Not while the family is aboard. Danger. So, Baines and one of the cleaning staff. There's always a woman involved. Am I to gather that some practical joke has got out of hand? Headmaster, sir, good evening, sir. Come to give me a caning, sir. Would you like that, sir? Keep a civil tongue, boy. Now, come on, everyone. I suspect alcohol has played its part in this. Let's all just calm down. And who are these friends of yours, Baines, in fancy dress? Do you like them, Mr. Phillips? I made them myself. I'm ever so good in science, sir. Look. Molecular fringe animation. Fashioned in the shape of straw men, my own private army says, never so good, sir. Bain, step apart from this company and come inside with me. No, sir, you, sir, you will send us Mr. John Smith. That's all we want, sir, Mr. John Smith, and whatever he's done with his Time Lord consciousness, then we'd be very happy to leave you alone. You speak with someone else's voice, Baines. Who might that be? We are the family of blood. Mr. Smith said there had been deaths. Yes, sir, and they were good, sir. Well, I warn you, the school is armed. All your little tin soldiers. But tell me, sir, will they thank you? I don't understand. What do you know of history, sir? What do you know of next year? You're not making sense, Baines. 1914, sir. Because the family has traveled far and wide looking for Mr. Smith and all the things we have seen. War is coming. In foreign fields, war of the whole wide world, with all your boys falling down in the mud. Do you think they will thank the man who taught them it was glorious? Don't you forget, boy, I have been a soldier. I was in South Africa. I used my dead mates for sandbags. I fought with the butt of my rifle when the bullets ran out, and I would go back there tomorrow for king and country! Etc. Etc. <laughs> Master, run back to school and send us Mr. Smith! <laughs>